Moving on, new at 11 now, we have reported an awful lot on San Francisco's effort to pump life into the downtown area. And tonight might be the very best example. The city put together a rave and it drew tens of thousands of people right near City Hall. As ABC7 News reporter Tara Campbell found out, it was a hot ticket. San Francisco Civic Center Plaza lit up and loud Saturday. Everyone from partygoers to police feeling the beat of this surprise raid. I'm here to see uh, Skrillex and Fred again. Like, I'm right outside City Hall. It's absolutely beautiful outside, and yeah, why not? Fans filing in late afternoon. DJ Skrillex and Fred again. Big draw. Skrillex is one of my favorite artists. He has been for a very long time, so it's, you know, just been a dream to see him. DJ Skrillex hinting at the show earlier this week and now this sold out show. 25,000 tickets sold. Tickets were so hard to get. It's going to be a lot of people that really like cared to invest that time and energy yeah. into getting them. It was like I texted all my friends like a few days ago and I was like, are you guys down to just hit this event at the very last second? Um, and then we did it. Have your tickets out, ready to go, please. And the city's counting on events like this to help bring back downtown. I don't think that there's really that one silver bullet when it comes to, you know, revitalizing and reimagining downtown San Francisco post pandemic. But having that consistent drumbeat of exciting events and activations is definitely going to be a big factor. Fences up and security high. The show shielded from the public and police presence strong. Just excited to be here with my best friend and to experience this. And yeah, I just wish everything goes perfect and safely and everybody loves each other and has a good time. And that's exactly what this crowd did. The idea of doing an event in such a historical place is like nothing that's ever that I've ever been to personally. So I get to do that and I get to have my friends along with me. Like there's nothing better. Tara Campbell, ABC7 News.